This is a tiny tip for more experienced Laravel developers, developers who have been working with the framework for a long time that might have missed this small but nice migrations improvement. So in the past, to set a foreign key, you first had to add an unsigned big integer with the name of the column, and then typically at the end of the callback, you would use the blueprint foreign method, pass it the column, and then reference the ID on the other table. However, in newer versions of Laravel, there's a better way to do this. Instead of unsigned big integer, we can use the foreign ID method, pass it the column name, call the constraint method, and then on delete, cascade. And of course, we can delete this line. Now, this constraint call will use conventions to determine the table and column name being referenced, but if your table somehow doesn't match, you can pass it as argument. But we don't need it in this case. Let's do the same for person ID. I'll grab the foreign ID method, and then constraint on delete cascade, and remove this line. And that's it. Usually, I don't get that excited by syntactic sugar, but this is significantly better. Not only because it's shorter and more expressive, but because it also makes code easier to delete. And code that's easy to delete is pretty much always better. This was tiny tip number two. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye!